I'm Brad Morgan from Pfizer Animal Health, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about food wastage. Uh, we always hear all the things about how much more efficient we have to be in, in our industry and, and how many more tons we're going to have to produce of beef in the future. And, and we also, you know, we're, we're the world's breadbasket. They're depending on us uh, to produce beef for them all over the world. But what I wanted to do is just talk to you a little bit about, uh, from a different perspective, talk about how we already produce, uh, believe it or not, twice as much food today uh, that we need uh, to feed the world. Uh, and, and we were very efficient. We do a nice job. The problem is, is that we waste a lot of food, either during distribution or harvest uh, or during, uh, during the, uh, driving it up and down the road to a warehouse or in a retail store. And also as consumers or guilty people, we throw away surprisingly 242 pounds of food waste per person per year in the United States. So, you know, think about it, 242 pounds. We throw away about 1,400 calories a day uh, per person uh, in the United States of food that's just going to hit the trash can. Sad thing about it is we've already paid for it and uh, it's something that we need to start thinking about in the future as far as from a food wastage. That, you know, depending on where you're at in the world, uh, whether you're a, uh, if you're a farmer in China or if you uh, live in Sub-Sahara Africa, those people a lot of times, if we can get food to those consumers, they won't waste it. They want food, they need the food. They lose a lot of their food during distribution once it reaches their docks trying to get it through the infrastructure uh, and, and get it to the consumer. So in the United States, we're very fortunate. We're in Amarillo, Texas, and right beside I-40. And uh, we see the trucks and the trains going up and down the roads and the tracks and distributing food and coal and, and cars and whatever. Our distribution system is very advanced. However, we still can make improvements on managing the inventory that those trucks and trains are carrying. And you're starting to see some of that take place today here in the United States. At the consumer level, we throw away about 15% of the meat that we actually produce. We throw it away not at the packing plant, not at the feed yards. We do a fantastic job at those two areas of making sure that animals uh, survive, that they grow. We also do a fantastic job of converting those animals into carcasses, into the boxed beef. Uh, where we actually need to improve probably a, a, as an industry it's probably at retail some and we're starting to work some with retail on how to maximize shelf life of some of these products. The other thing too is, is we, and we need to probably work with consumer groups as well because consumers are, uh, they get confused very easily. For instance, if you have a use by date or a sell by date or a best if used by date, those things are very con uh, confusing. So we're actually starting to see some technologies used today at retail where they have a little sticker that looks like a traffic light. And then depending on uh, when you activate the sticker, it'll start counting down the number of days that that product has left uh, from a shelf life standpoint. So again, if it has a green light, it's good, eat it. If it has a yellow light, you need to go ahead and use it in the next day or so. And if it has a red light, it needs to be thrown away. So again, that confusing of, as far as sell by, use by, and best if used by, that's going to be something that we don't have to, to figure out anymore. And hopefully we won't have to, uh, uh, to make some of those tough decisions every week before we go to the grocery store to clean out the refrigerator and throw away that food. Mm -hmm.